Hi students, good to have you back for another pronunciation practice. Um, today we're going to continue where we left off. Last week um, we were practicing with the reduced pronunciation of some specific words in English, especially in American English, how a native speaker of American English will change the pronunciation, will usually shorten the pronunciation um, into a less clear form that we hear out in the street, a lot more common than the British English that we are typically learning in our home schools or in our home countries. Um, in the first video, we went through five words. We're gonna do a quick review today of those five, and then we're gonna look at another five, and we'll see how much time that takes, and probably that'll be enough for our, our second pronunciation video practice. So let me jump over to my presentation here. Um, again, we're, we're looking at the reduced, Remember my word reduce means make smaller, make something less. My reduced pronunciation of certain words in American English. Again, remember that there's three important things we have to think about or some things that I'll use to talk about. And the most important is the syllable, syllable, syllable. Remember that syllable is the chunk the piece of a word, each word in spoken American English, spoken English, can be divided into different pieces, and we call those pieces of the word a syllable. The word syllable has three pieces. Syllable. Syllable. Three pieces. Um, adult. Adult. Two pieces. Um, celebration. Celebration four pieces. So the difference and the important part for us about syllable is the difference between how many syllables we expect based on the spelling, based on the vowels in the word, and how many syllables are actually being pronounced by a speaker of American English. I'm going to talk about the clear form. Um, sometimes when we think about the clear form, we might think about the British English form. Um, but there are speakers of American English who are also very clear in their pronunciation. So it's too um, stereotypical for me to say that all speakers of British English use a clear form and all speakers of American English use the reduced form. Um, it's more common for speakers of American English to use the reduced form and it's more common for speakers of British English to use the clear form. But to say all or none of them is too stereotypical, so I'll try not to say that. Um, a review from video number one, the five words that we talked about. Uh, we talked about the word temperature, 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 temperature. But my reduced pronunciation of temperature, comfortable, 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 comfortable but my reduced pronunciation of comfortable, comfortable. Vegetable, vegetable. Um, four vowels, it looks like it should be vegetable, vegetable. I'm pronouncing it vegetable, vegetable, three, vegetable. Interesting, interesting, looks like interesting interesting but my reduced interesting usually usually looks like usually usually but i'm pulling it together uh usually usually if you want a longer practice with these go back to video number one let's jump into some new words for video number two uh, the first word I want to talk to here on your screen, I hear a lot of speakers of British English pronounce this as aspirin, aspirin, with three syllables, aspirin. But my pronunciation in American English, I say aspirin, aspirin. Could I get an aspirin from you? Do you have any aspirin? He told me to take two aspirin after the illness. 
Oops, sorry. Aspirin. This is one of my favorite words, especially in English class when we're having difficult grammar. Um, I truly believe that chocolate, chocolate is helping our brain to function better when we're struggling with difficulties in English. Um, my longer, clear pronunciation, chocolate, chocolate. My short American English pronunciation, I say chocolate, choc, chocolate. I could definitely use some chocolate when talking about grammar. Chocolate, um, hot chocolate. What kind of candy, what kind of chocolate do you prefer? What kind of chocolate do you prefer? Next word up here on the screen. Again, these are easy words. These aren't difficult vocabulary words. These are very common words. Um, just that the pronunciation that I'm hearing out in the street, out in the city, is a lot more difficult. My word, evening, three syllables, evening, evening. My short pronunciation, evening, evening. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Did you work last evening? My word of even, even, like um, something is level, something is um, flat, an even surface. Uh, I use the word even to talk about mathematics. An even number, two, four, six, eight, ten. These are even numbers. Um, even. You're hearing the two pieces, even. But evening, I push them together. Evening. Ah, I also have this note down at the bottom. Give it a second to come up. We also shorten this word evening to eve, especially when we talk about a holiday, um, New Year's Eve. What this actually means is the evening before New Year's, the day before New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. Again, as you've seen, these different words, we're going from three syllables, looks like it should be three syllables, down into two syllables. A clearer, longer pronunciation, you might hear somebody say, several, several, three pieces, several, several. My bad, shortened, reduced pronunciation, I say, several, several, several. It's just one of several options. Just one of several options. Um, several days ago. Several days ago. Our last word to talk about here today. Again, this could have three syllables. Every. Every. But my reduced pronunciation, I say, Every, every, everyone, everybody, everything. She's been to every one of the markets, each individual market. She has been to every one. Um, again, if I shorten this, ever, you still have two pieces. Ever. You hear ever. But every, e, every. Ever, ever. Every, every. Every, ever. Every. Blah, blah, blah. My tongue gets completely twisted around. Um, whenever. Wherever, however, ever. I think that's my fifth one. Yep. So the five that we looked at today, 
we talked about aspirin, two pieces, aspirin. She took some aspirin after she fell down, aspirin, aspirin. We talked about evening, evening, aspirin, evening. We talked about several, several, several students asked me about the pronunciation of every, every. Um, aspirin, several, evening, every, mm, I'm forgetting one. The most important one, chocolate, 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 chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, um, chocolate milk. All right. Let me know in the comments how these five words are for you, if they're easy, if this um, skill is too, too simple, if you have other vocabulary words that are difficult for you. There's been a few in English class that I think I'll be adding into another pronunciation video in the following week. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in class. Bye.